guys and welcome back. Today's video is going to be my lipstick collection declutter. I am doing a declutter series, so this is part two. Part one was lip glosses, so I will link that in the cards and the description box. I'm also planning on decluttering blush and then eyeshadow palettes, so I do not declutter just to declutter though. I really want to focus on things that I'm actually going to use. I do get some PR, not a lot, and I also am on a low buy. So I also recently did a makeup inventory video, so you can check that out. I have 27 lipsticks. Here they are. This isn't going to be like a 50% gone declutter, but we'll see how many I can get rid of. So yeah, I'm going to be swatching these and let's get started. All right, so 27 lipsticks. This includes liquid lipsticks and bullet lipsticks. I just keep them all together. Um, I've got these three. I really like these, the AOA Velvet Lips. Let's swatch these. Um, this is the shade Reese. I really do like these. Yeah, that's such a pretty like pinky mauve. This one is Aria. This one's more purpley toned. Yeah, these are so comfortable on the lips. I'm probably gonna keep all three of these because I really, really like them. And that one is more of like a peachy pink. That one is Riley. So yeah, these are only a dollar and 50 cents on the AOA website. I think these are amazing. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep all three of those. This is an older bullet lipstick. This is the Mac and Patrick Star lipstick and she better work. And that is kind of like a dusty pink. You know, bullet lipsticks, I admit, I don't worry so much about them getting old as I do liquid lipsticks or lip glosses because I do think you can sanitize these by spraying some alcohol on there. So this lipstick, it's old. I mean, I think this was like three years ago, but I still really like the color and the formula. So I actually think I'm gonna keep that one too. Here's another older bullet lipstick. This is a Chanel um, in 426 Roussy. This is the Rouge Coco. And this is actually a really nice pink. Very pretty. This has a bit of a shine. I've had this one for three years or more, but again, bullet lipsticks, I don't worry so much as I do with liquid lipsticks. Now, this is something I got in PR earlier this year. This is from Peri Para. It's the Ink Airy Velvet. This is shade two in selfie orange brown. And this, I did review this on Instagram. I like it and I love the color. I love orangey shades like this. However, this formula is just a bit too dry for my taste. I like to wear liquid lipstick with a gloss on top. Sometimes I wear them on their own or sometimes I put a bullet lipstick on top. Even with that, I find that this is a little drying. So this one is going to go. Here's another one that I think is gonna go, which this is disappointing. Um, this is from Surratt, and this is the Lip Slick in Paramore. I got this in the Beautylish Lucky Bag earlier this year. And overall, I'm very happy with the other things that I got in the Beautylish Lucky Bag, but this lipstick is so not impressing me. It's very sheer, has some shine, but on the lips, it like clings to dry patches that I didn't even know were on my lips and it's really not flattering at all. This is a $34 lipstick. Like I said, I got it in the lucky bag, so it's totally fine. But honestly, this is like the worst lipstick in my whole collection, which is crazy because Surratt is so expensive. So yeah, no thank you. Here's a liquid lipstick I really enjoy. This is from Clarity Cosmetics in the shade Cookie. And I love brown type shades, I really do. This is a very nice brown. I really like this. This is a very kind of watery formula, but that makes it more comfortable and it's not drying at all. And it's very thin, so it layers well with lip gloss. I feel like not all liquid lipsticks layer well with lip gloss because the thicker ones can sometimes just be too thick. Um, this is my one Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Bitch Perfect. And I like this shade. It's a peachy neutral. It's fine. 
I'm not wowed by this lipstick. I don't know that it's worth $34, but I do like it and I am going to keep it. This one here is from Ofra. It's their Flexi Slick in Smooth. And it's another neutral, I don't know. This one, it's fine, but this is more of a liquid lipstick formula. I've had this for a long time now and I haven't used it in a long time. So I'm gonna get rid of that one, even though I do think it's fine. Um, this is from Becca, this I love. This is a deluxe size, but this is like a decent amount of lipstick. This is the shade Orchid. And this is one of my favorite bullet lipsticks in my collection. There it is there. Beautiful, like dark mauve. I really like this one. This is one of my favorites. So that is definitely staying. I don't have a lot of reds. Um, let's get into, yeah, let me go ahead and do this one from MAC. This is in Feels So Grand. This is like a bright true red. And this MAC formula is very comfortable. I really like these. I don't wear red lipstick a lot, but I do enjoy this one. I think that it is nice. Let's get into some of these from Odin's Eye. So the ones from Odin's Eye are the Alva Matte Lip Stain, and I really do like these. They are matte liquid lipsticks, but I do think they're comfortable. These were sent to me in PR from them. I don't know that I need to keep all of these, but I really do enjoy them. So this shade is called Dry Dates. That is a nice burgundy. All right, very pretty. Let's just keep going with these. This one is called Red Apple. So let's see how this compares to the MAC Red. Okay, very different. This is like a darker red brick shade, whereas the MAC is like a true bright red. Then we have Perfect Plum. Let's see here. Ooh, that's nice. It's like a darker mauve. This is the problem, I like all of these. Um, then we have a Sweet Peach, more of a peach. This is one of the ones I've worn probably the most. That is nice. Um, okay, this one is called Ripe Papaya. Yeah, this is more of like an orange brown. Ooh yeah, that's a really neat color. <laughs> Um, yeah, apparently I really like all of these. I do, I think they're really nice. And then the last one is Apricot Girl. Let's see. All right, so looking at all of these, I think Apricot Girl is like kind of similar to some of these other ones and the color that intrigues me the least but the rest I really like. So I think Apricot Girl is gonna go, but I'm gonna keep the rest of these because these are really fantastic. Um, here is another one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas. The Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. This shade is in Boss Up. I think this is beautiful. This is something I do wanna put in a project pan because everyone keeps telling me that these dry up like really fast. And I bought this sometime last year, so yeah, this one is kind of similar to some of the other ones, but I really like it. And honestly, this formula, like I said, is amazing, but this is something I do want to put in a project. Um, okay, the rest are all bullet lipsticks, so let's see what we have left. Oh boy, this is old school here. This is MAC in Myth. Now that is a pale color, okay? I don't wear these kind of shades anymore, but I have so much nostalgia. I repurchased this lipstick, I think a little over a year ago because Myth used to be my favorite color. I mean, like 10 years ago. I wore this shade all the time. I panned like two of them, super pale, nude, but you know what? With a darker lip liner or a darker gloss, I still like it on its own. No way would I wear that. <laughs> but I really enjoy the formula of both of these MAC bullet lipsticks and their liquid lipstick. I think out of all my fate formulas here that I love the most, I would say the MAC, the Smashbox, the Odin's Eye are probably my favorite out of all of my lipsticks. So 
I know, I'm keeping that more for nostalgia purposes. Um, here is something, this is from Yensa. I got this in PR. It is the Super 8 Vibrant Silk Lipstick in the shade Captivate, which is a burgundy color. That is really pretty. And this formula, you can sheer it out more. As you can see, it looks more intense in the bullet than it does in the swatch. It's a bit more sheer, but I like this one quite a bit, so this is staying. All right, out of the six bullet lipsticks, I think I've got some similarities here. So I have two from Propa Beauty. This one is Victress. That is this one right there. These are very, whoops, a very shiny formula. It's really comfortable though, and I really like it. My only complaint is that they're really soft, so they're getting very, very squished in the bullet. And I try to be very careful, but they're messy. Like, look how melty this one is getting. You can see it's like to the side and getting kind of icky. This one is called Made It, which is an orangey brown. Like I said, I love orangey browns. So this though is just, yeah, you can see it's very messy. So hmm, I really like these. I really do. They look so nice on the lips and the colors are great, but I'm going to consider those. And then I have two of these from, these are also from the Shop Miss A website, AOA Studio. This shade is called Shore. That is this lighter color right here, like a peachy neutral. This is looking like a slightly darker version of Myth. So I don't think I need to keep this one. So that one is actually going to go. And then this one is Bliss. This is more pinky. It's got more pigment to it. I like this one more. So this one I am going to keep. The packaging on these, I will say, does feel pretty flimsy, whereas these AOA lipsticks actually have like a really, really nice packaging as well. But the formula on these is very nice. It's a nice creamy lipstick. So packaging isn't great, but it's super affordable and the formula is good. So I'm going to keep this one, which is called Bliss. I'm still not sure about the Propa Beauty. And then the last two are, these are my two newest lipsticks that I did get these in PR from Merit Beauty. The packaging on these is like absolutely beautiful. Um, so let's see, this one is 1990. And these are more sheer. Now, as you can see, Look at that swatch. It's definitely more sheer than it looks in the tube. And compared to my other lipsticks, which the rest are super opaque, it's a different formula. So more sheer, creamy. That one's 1990. And then the last one is called Slip. And let's swatch that one. So that one is basically a lighter brown. Okay, I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do with these last four. I'm gonna think this over for a second. All right, I've made some decisions. So this one I think is gonna go, just cause uh, it does bother me how melty this formula is. And I feel like I have a lot of shades that look like this one. This is Victress. And it obviously looks a lot like this one from Merit Beauty and yeah. So that one is gonna go, but I'm gonna keep the other one from Propa just cause I love this color so much. So this one is called Made It and that is this beautiful orangey brown. That is gorgeous, love it. So that one is gonna stay. And then out of the ones from Merit, I've decided that this one called Slip, this is just kind of sheer and it's a lot like some of these other colors it's not giving me as much pigment as I want. So that one is gonna go, and then I'm gonna keep 1990, cause this I really like. This is a more intense brown. So I love brown lip colors, like I said. So yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with this. So let me show you the final numbers. But first, I will say I have more variety here than I thought that I would. Kind of the same thing happened in my lip gloss declutter. I thought that they would all look the same, but really I've got a variety here of pinks, kind of more purpley shades, darker colors, more mid-tones. I don't have a lot of super pale shades because like I said, I'm not as into those, but 
I've got MAC Myth here. If I want to lighten up any lipstick, I can do that. So yeah, let me show you the final numbers. Alrighty, so I am going to be decluttering seven lipsticks. I'm actually pretty happy with this. And I feel like the bullet lipsticks, like especially these two that are in good condition, I could give to someone else. Liquid lipsticks, not so sure about that. Um, but yeah, seven are going to go. Alrighty, and 20 are staying. So not bad. Actually, this looks very nice here. I'm very happy with this. I feel like I've got good variety, neutrals, darker shades, kind of all the tones that I need, browns, reds, pinks. And yeah, honestly, I prefer a bit more variety in my glosses than I need in my lipsticks, but I really do like these here. I think these formulas are all great. And yeah, so keeping 20, not bad, can't complain. Overall, I am happy with these results. So that is it for my lipstick declutter. Check out the lip gloss declutter and stay tuned for more. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.